So today we're doing this segment called the Actors Cut, in which we're focusing on actors who also direct, or in some cases, directors who happen to act. Though I feel like that number might be fewer. No, there's Farhan, um, there's yeah. who actually was a director first. first and Maybe then Sohail Khan as well. Sohail. I first feel like that number, yeah, he was no, a director first. Yeah, Sohail directed, first. no, Sohail directed Ozar. Ozar, uh, huh. And uh, Pyar Kiya To Darna Kiya, and Hello Brother, before he became um, an actor. But um, sir, when you think of actor directors, huh. um, which are the titles or, or, or who are the actor directors that come first to mind? The biggest of them for me is actually Clint Eastwood. Of course. Yeah. Then you have Mel Gibson. But if you look at a, uh, I feel if you look at a, uh, what would you call that man? A ring. Portfold ring. Yeah. I think yeah. it's Ron Howard. You know, right. No, Ron Howard, I, I've grown up seeing Ron Howard in Happy Days. You Correct. Know, and then he became a director. And he was the most amazing, amazing director I've ever come across. Yeah. I think. I mean, I would, as a director, I think it's better than whether it's Eastwood, whether it's Gibson, um, but uh, th that's probably my favorite. Ron right. Howard has to be my favorite. Except he was not really a leading man. You he know? wasn't, but in Happy Days, he was the leading character. Right. So right. He's an actor. I'm saying okay. he's an actor. I mean, okay. like just like how uh, Peter Berg is an actor. You know, right. and Peter Berg did Kingdom, which Correct. is one of my uh, favorite action films. But then again, then again, you also have these little, little spurts, you know, like... Um, Bradley Cooper with Star in Their yeah, Eyes. Yeah, Star is Born, yeah. Yeah, yeah Star is Born, sorry. Um, and even uh, Mr. Stiller with Tropic Thunder, which is amazing. Such amazing. an incredible yeah, film. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. And we fell in love with Robert Downey all over again. True. Yeah, I think that was bigger comeback but than Ben I'm Stiller now. actually has been, um, has, has made some incredible films. Yeah. Uh, Reality Bites years mm. ago, which was just the defining film for a generation, yeah, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Stiller is very, very good. And, uh, but Tropic Thunder really was yeah, yeah. something else, wasn't yeah. it? Um, amazing. Uh, amazing. He was whole, Simple Jack. Simple Jack and How You Win an Oscar. <laughs> Robert Downey's. Uh, uh, and Tom Cruise. True. True. As the you, agent, you, the, the super you agent. You cannot, yeah. cannot beat the dance of Tom Cruise at the end, the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, so these are probably the names which comes, you know. And of course, uh, Mel Gibson and mm. Braveheart. You mm. know, that, that, that is an amazing, amazing film, uh, which I love. Um, closer home. Your closer favorites? home. Yeah, I've been thinking about this actually while I was doing this. I mean, we have the greats, which but is Devanand and, and, and Manoj, Manoj Kumar. Kumar. I think my favorite would be Manoj Kumar. Right. It has to be man. Roti Kapra or Makan or Shore, even Das Nambari, you know. Mm. But if you, you know, just like you said, Ron Howard wasn't right, an actor, a big, big leading man. Correct. Even us, it's not. I, I never saw him as a big leading man, mm. but Vijay Anand man. Yeah, Vijay Anand. I, I saw him as an actor first, and uh, and I think he's God. And if you see all his films, whether it's a jewel thief, even, even something simple like Double Cross, mm. you know, or later part Rajput. I mean, amazing, amazing films for me. I mean, that's what about the younger generation of actors? I feel like there's fewer. Yeah, but there's there are a few. But you know, uh, Ashutosh. Correct. Yeah. Ashutosh Gwarika. Yeah, Ashutosh Gwarika. I mean, Who I mean, was an actor. Yeah, right. I saw him as an actor. I first. like how you're picking the the sort of the not the A-listers or not the no, but I can't think of any sure. A-listers who's gone and made a film. No, there have been. I mean, Ooh. Ajay Devgan directed a film. Amir Khan's directed a film. Um, I mean, did uh, Tare Zameeper. Tare Zameeper. Yeah, that was. Ajay's amazing. directed uh, more than one film actually. <laughs> Why do you think that there haven't been um, enough? actors from sort of our times, from contemporary times who are, you know, current working actors. Like it feels yeah. like in Hollywood you don't need to hmm. finish your acting career to become a director. Yeah. I mean you've seen, we've seen in the case of someone like Bradley Cooper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, but I think that it depends on what as an individual you right. crave for. You know, like uh, if, if you're a very established actor who's mm. happy in what you're doing, right. uh, you don't necessarily have to jump into another faculty of filmmaking. Uh, whereas I think I think everybody, every actor, every singer, every cameraman, every director, being part of that industry makes you a little creative. Right. You know, you have a lot of ambitions. You know, you, you, you feel you can do a lot of things. Like I sometimes feel I can do, uh, maybe I can take a camera and shoot something, but uh, I would be pretty potty at that. Mm -hmm. uh, but I guess uh, it's the individual who actually decides to do something about it. Right. You know, if they feel I can direct, they mm. actually go out there and direct. If somebody feels, uh, and also, hey, I have to say one person, I, my favorite, favorite uh, actor, I've grown up watching her, you know, it's for the series uh, called Laverne and Shirley. Uh -huh. And there was this lady called Penny Marshall. Right. Who, who used to uh, Of course, who went on Laverne. to become the, the sort of the rom-com genius. Yeah, yeah. Love Penny Marshall. 
Why, why do you think not enough women, certainly in 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 Bollywood or in mm. India, um, mm. tend to tend to direct? Of course, we've had Aparna Sen, one of the greats. Thirty six. Thirty six. Charangi Len. Um, yes. Actor, director. Rinadi. Rinadi. Yes. Uh, but but uh. why not enough? I, I honestly don't know. I, I guess it's 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 uh, most of us are struggling so much to make one career happen. Mm -hmm. um, the second career probably takes a back seat, but that doesn't mean to say anything. I mean, now we have a plethora of brilliant, brilliant directors coming out. Yeah. Know? Whether it's Zoya, uh, I don't know what Nupur is doing. Nupur right. is a great director. Alankrita. Alankrita. Para. Uh, Konkona. True. Yeah. Konkona actually is a great example yeah, yeah. Of, a, of an actor who directs. Yeah. yeah. Konkuna, what an incredible what first an incredible film. Dead in the Gunja. What an incredible film. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Farah became actor later. Right. Uh, but right. actually, no. Farah was first in Kalhona Ho. Yeah, but yeah, she was in Kalhona. Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, I, I, no, no, no. She, she wouldn't want to. Though she actually did act. She she made a movie as a leading lady. You know, I'm I'm sort of thinking of her cameos. But listen, we tend to forget yeah, she yeah. made she did Yeah, yeah. Correct. So that's that's why I'm saying she came a little later. Right. But 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 she did um, Kalhona Ho. Kalhona. I think she was also. Wasn't she also in Kuch Kuch or something? I'm, I feel like she must have. Must you know, have been there. She cameos, yeah, she, she must, must have, have sneaked, sneaked in, in somewhere. somewhere. Yeah. Did you, Farah? I mean, yeah. he must have sneaked in. We didn't see her. Even Karan, nah, she was. He was there in DDLJ. That's true. Wasn't he also in your film as an actor? Yeah, he but no, he was a director before that. But yeah. DDLJ was definitely there on the streets of London. I saw him, and right. then he made Kuch Kuch Hota. Correct. So yeah. Um, Listen. <laughs> You've acted in films. I mean, let's just address the elephant Ooh. in the room. You have. Uh, you've been in a few. Actually, have in a few. Uh, you, no, I, no. I know you were in. Um, <laughs> these are you. You cannot. You cannot wipe out your IMDb record. You were in. Um, you know those IMDb are false, <laughs> man. I mean, they. You were in My Brother Nickel, but the one you really had a role in, a proper role in. Um, good thing. Uh, good thing it wasn't one of those films that went on to become massively popular. Was Tara Rampam. So you. Uh, you have. Uh, you're. You're very qualified to be on this segment to talk no, about no, this. No, no, I. I. I am not because <laughs> I. What are you credited as as Saif's best friend? No, tire changer, I think. <laughs> because you all worked in a garage. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for this. But I feel like we have to mention here that while what? you did make the cameos, the occasional cameos, you did actually play leading man. You played Bomkesh Bakshi. No, that wasn't me. In Rituparno Go Ghosh's film, uh, his last film actually, Satan Veshi. Uh, am I pronouncing it right? Shottan Neshi. Shottan Neshi. Yeah. So uh, it's out there for those who want to, uh, you know, who 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 are wondering, who who will understand exactly why you're qualified to um, to. No, to but but talk about no no. This. We are talking about actors who became directors. Or direct or the few directors who then went on to actors act. who became directors. Thank you, Sujay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Rajat. Thank you. Discover the ambitious director side of an actor on the Actors Cut, starting Saturday, the first of June at seven p.m. Only on And Prive HD for those who feel the other side.